<clears throat> wow today we are talking of the Lagos church that God ba- got burnt and uh, everything was everything was destroyed by fire before we continue to proceed this is the best channel that talks about the pastors who fake miracles who talk abnormal they talk against Jesus Christ because their interest is not about God their interest is money and because they serve the one in the darkness this is why some things happen mysteriously church burning everywhere you know church in Lagos this church started burning you know I think the pastor was about to sacrifice people like how to be Joshua you recall when the church building collapsed and hundreds of people died from South Africa hardest people from Nigeria hardest people all Christ- the hundreds of Christians lost their life in the church of Nigeria in in, uh, in the Bijoshua's hands, you know. In this today, last, yesterday last, today was yesterday Sunday, and uh, the church of Oyakilom started burning, and hundreds of Christians lost their life. This is a, people may call it normal tragedy, but it was not normal. Hundreds lost their life. Today Nigeria is hiding something that they don't want to show the hundreds of people who have lost their life. They don't want to tell people the fact. You know, okay, it's, it's not about the government of Nigeria, but the church itself is not producing the fact about the burning of the churches. The church started burning from roof, and hundreds have lost people. You remember what Bisola and the team? Who they told the nation that B. Joshua was associated with a massive negative energy of sacrificing people. And that's the people who were behind the curtain. They opened the curtain and started proclaiming that B. Joshua is holy and here and there. But what you don't know about this guy, you remember a video clip of B. Joshua or where Madame Bisola said that Pastor Chris Kilome was initiated by TB Joshua uh, plus the Kakade of Uganda. And they were taught how to fake miracle, how to produce agony agony things, you know. Today, I'm telling you about the lost life, dozens of people who have lost their life in the hall of Chris Ebasi in Nigeria. I'm wondering why people are more than uh, more than 20 people have lost their life and while others are injured you know people have been taken to hospital hundreds of people are suffering home and many Christian world are asking themselves what is going on inside the Church of Christ embassy in Nigeria so what am I say what am I speaking today I don't want to convince you about hating the church but remember the man who call himself man of God. You have to know him deeper. And if you don't know deeper about him, live and with the church. Churches are there. You know, but how long will you suffer from this terrible mistake of the churches? I'll tell you this fact. The churches, these churches are diabolically bad, you know. You know, Pastor Chris, I can remember what he said, that uh, it was a mistake and it was electrical wiring which is lies, he know what he was doing. He was sacrificing people inside the church. And this is where Satanism is working by its force. How church can start fire? How church can, can this is the applicable, this is an, an unbelievable because when I speak of you and I start telling you the fact about this church, you may not believe it. But what am I going to say today? Believe it, give it, trust in God that if this church will come back, I will tell you the Christian not to not to adapt because we don't know whether the spirit of the hunting energies, whether they are inside the church or we may not understand the nature or something of the decaying spirit inside the church which are abandoning which are abandoned inside the church. We may not believe it. But one thing I'm going to tell you is that give God's glory for those who, who were able to come out who were, who were able to say no to satanism 
glory to God. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. God bless you.